to bring some love in here today. <laughs> it's the rasp for me. Yeah, I got a little rasp. You better be old. I love it. Me too. <laughs> I love not this old, old bro. School. Everybody, it's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. He's an Oscar nominated. I knew he was about to start. You know I had to get into it. <laughs> Songwriter, and not just Oscar nominated songwriter. We're gonna talk about who you nominated with. Oh God, huh? here we go. And he's also an artist in his very own right. If you don't know him, you about to get to know him. Put your hands together for the incredible Dixon! What's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to the What's show, up, man. Thank you so much for having me, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We have a lot to talk about because I, I proofread his, his card that Roxy writes for me with all your facts oh, on man. it. I didn't know half this shit. I said, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> he's very, he's been around, been okay? Here. Now, now, I ran into you recently. Uh-huh. About a year ago. <laughs> yeah. About a year ago. Where, where uh, did I run into you? We were at the Oscars. Ah! On the what? On the, on the red carpet. Uh-huh. And I was nominated. For, for what? For a Best Original Song mm -hmm. with Beyonce. Yeah, God the <laughs> Yes, you were. For, you? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. I do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This man. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Drink up, drink yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh, it's laced. So, Dixon was nominated at the 94th Academy Awards celebration ceremony thing with Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter. Carter. <laughs> yeah. For the song Be Alive for the film King Richard, starring Will Smith. Can we just. Thank you, Beyonce. I appreciate it. <laughs> First of all, everybody knows I'm a tennis player, okay? Yes. I'm a huge know tennis player. I've been playing my entire life. I've always loved Serena and Venus Williams. I grew up watching them. Yeah. They're honestly maybe the reasons why I felt comfortable playing the sport. But before the film came out, there was a song. Yeah. Before I went and got my popcorn and hot dog and went to the movie theater, a song dropped. Yeah. And the song is called Be Alive. Yeah. Who wrote that song? We wrote that song. You wrote that song with Beyonce. Did, did anybody else write that song with Beyonce? No. This is the part I'm, I'm struck about. <laughs> the, oh, who that's happened? That's true. And who, oh, oh, and who produced the song? We did. <laughs> Was there any other producer besides the two of you? No. So listen to Mill what I'm saying, millions folks. Millions tried. Millions tried. They didn't make it. But they didn't make it, Dixon. We were the two that did. This man was in the studio with Beyonce, and the two of them, and just the two of them, created an Oscar-nominated song. If you're not clapping in this room, that's incredible. You started the song by yourself. Is that true? Yes, I started the song by myself just when I got the brief. Yeah. And uh, I did what I could, and then yeah. he shared it with B, and then she does what she does. And she does what she does. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, it's history. I'm sure there was a lot of, of, of hurdles you had to go through to even get into that room, into the studio, to start working on the song with her together. Yeah. What was the vibe like when you walked into the studio, there she is, you're playing the song. I wouldn't even, I'd be scared to even sit in the same room as I played the song with her. What did you do? Well, I didn't, I, when I first played it for her, I didn't look at, at her like. What you mean? I had my back to her on purpose. It was so weird, like, I didn't know that, that she was coming. Yeah. Um, um, and she's kind of appeared, and I had just literally finished like writing like the first verse. He said she just appeared. She just, I mean, it was literally that. Like I saw, I saw a little tussle, rustling yeah. happening, and then I saw security, and I was like, oh no. You she, didn't see the halo on the way coming in. I, you didn't and, see. I want to be the like there was a light, there was a light coming down the yeah. hallway, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really wasn't that. I was just, I literally had just finished. I had just clicked save in Pro Tools because I had prepared like two songs, two ideas. Interesting. And I asked Jay if I should play another one, mm -hmm. and he said, when you start off with a joint like that, that's where you leave 
it. And I was like, Why did, could I hear him saying that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you not intimidated at all to, to sit there and continue to work? Being around her is, uh, it's, it's intimidating. Yeah. You know, and just keep it a buck. Um, but she's so sweet. Yeah. She's literally the most gracious human being I've ever met. I love that. Dixon has an album out called Oh Four Daisies. That's yeah. right. Oh Four. I'm gonna Daisies. put it down here so y'all can be confused yeah. with me. Um, <laughs> I was like, what do I call this? It's quite the vibe, sir. Thank you, man. Let me see how many words are on this card that's going to lead you. Oh, God. To give us some selections that were for Daisy. On my card, I have some words. Oh, God. And once I give you this word, you're going to have 11 seconds mm. to sing the first word that comes to your mind with this word in the lyrics or the title of the song. I almost forgot my own damn rules. Dixon. OK. 11 seconds are on the clock. Yikes. Your first word is off. O F F. Ooh. I can never take a day off. Come on. Not one from loving you. You won't let me take a day off. From your good, good loving, good, good love. <laughs> okay. Man, I really hope I'm in the right key. I hope I'm in the right key. <laughs> Who wrote that song? I wrote that song. I bet to you, D. Yeah. I, I can never song. take a day off from what? From loving you. You got a, you got a nice old romantic soul on you. Hey, man. You know. Uh, a lot of his songs, I'd be like, oh my God, I want somebody to say this to me. <laughs> <laughs> say See, this to that's me. That's how you know it's for Daisy. You know what I'm saying? It's for yeah. somebody. You know? Who the hell is Daisy? Daisy uh, is a very special person in my life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Daisy's still around? Daisy's still around. All right, you Daisy. Know. You got the first one. How about the second one? Okay. The word is bag. B-A-G. Bag. 11 seconds. Do I not know my own song? Bag. Oh, this might not be your song. It could be any song. Oh. Stop. No, I thought you knew the damn rule. Well, you Give said all. Give me 11 oh. seconds again. I said some of these will not lead you to the river. All right, I'm ready. Not I'm all ready. of I'm them. Ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> 11 seconds again. It can be any song, including yours. The word is bag. Uh, just throw it in the bag. Mmm. Just throw it in the bag. Now, why would you do him in like the this? In the Who had the dream? <laughs> Who was dreaming somebody else? Who was thrown in the back? That's it was a dream? Fabulous. 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 That part is oh, the dream. Oh, I remember that video. That video was crazy. Why would you do that song like that in here? I, I, the dream. Listen, your word is grape. Grape. Now, I do got one for this. Um. Wow. Grape. You don't, did he miss it? When you hear a little bit of gossip, maybe a rumor or two, uh -huh. where did you hear that from? Oh, well, I heard it through the grapevine. How much longer will you be mine? Yeah. <laughs> What's also crazy is that I posted a video of me singing this song. Now I'm mad. Ah, is that where you got it damn. from? Yeah, I'm really, I really want to play Marvin Gaye. <laughs> you want to play him? I really do. Like either that or voice him. Mother, mother. Come on. There's far too many of you crying. Yeah. Brother, brother, brother. There's far too many. There's far too many of you dying. You know we got to find a way to bring some love in here today. <laughs> it's the rasp for me. Yeah, I got a little rasp. You better be old. I love it. Me too. I love it. Not old, old, bro. School. Yeah. Okay. No, my parents, my parents were older parents. Yeah. So I just had a good selection of music growing up. Aretha walks into the room right now. The song you sing for her in her face is what? Ooh, Aretha walking into the room. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm the kind of guy that'll say, hey, baby, let's get away. Let's go somewhere, huh? Well, I don't care. Mm. <laughs> Dixon, you be singing. I want to be what you want when you want it and whenever you need it. 
Your ass is <laughs> is very slick. You smooth. I bet you you had a lot of daisies in your past life. Man, I be chilling, bro. I be chilling. Yeah, you done had a lot of tulips, roses, I, not and the, not the Not the garden. <laughs> you not had the garden. garden. Here. Yeah. Okay? Because no. I can tell with your chest hair out. You've had a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot of Yo. choices. Let's talk about Darius Scott for a bit. Let's talk about we? him. Yeah. Now, this is one of the things I did not know until today. Uh-huh. Darius Scott is also this man, and this man was on The Voice. Now, th that journey was what may feel like many Dixons ago, right? Mm -hmm. You can It can feel like that. Like, when you're in the entertainment industry, tell me if I'm wrong or right, a year can go by and you fuck an entirely different artist. An entirely different person. I'm looking at Kenny because he like just put out them songs you did last year. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like you'll drop an album and then maybe two years later you're like, man, I don't want to perform none of that. I want to perform this. Can uh, we be honest about it? Yeah. That's literally how it goes. That's me. So tell me, I bet, I can yeah. read it. So yeah. tell me in 2017, who is Darius? What? Who is that guy? When you look back and watch him perform on The Voice, who was that? I mean, I really feel like I was just trying to learn the business. I yeah. tell people all the time, like, doing these competition shows, you have to really know what you're going in it for. I didn't really go into it to win. I just feel like if you want to learn the business at a rapid pace yes. and you can sing, yes. this is a great place for you to go yeah. and figure it out. Now, if you want to go in there for the cloud and mm -hmm. you know to, to get the record contract or something like that, that's on you. I wouldn't do that for that reason, but I really am a student of the game and yeah. I wanted to know how this all worked. Like, how does a TV show work? Yeah. Like, who who are all the players? Who are all the, you know, the people that make it happen? Yeah. And you could talk to anybody at The Voice. They'll tell you Darius was in wardrobe. Darius was trying to figure out every little detail because oh, I, I knew this. that I needed to know some things when I got my opportunity. What is the most long lasting piece of advice that Pharrell told you? Around the time that my father passed away, Pharrell called me. And well, he called me and checked in on me, but then I got a text message and basically was like, you may not understand what's going on like directly in front of you right mm -hmm. now, but God can see around corners <gasps> and it changed everything. Like it opened up my perspective uh, on life and like things happening to you. So yeah. God can see around the corners. Yeah. No, I mean, it really blessed me to hear that at the time in my life. So yeah. And I still carry that. Come on, Pharrell. Yeah. Great. All right. Great is thy faithfulness. And he loves him. Great is thy faithfulness. You're about to get punched. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. In the face. <laughs> Dixon, shut up and keep on singing here. Yo. Do it. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto to me. Falling. Not just fall, but falling. Um, falling in love with Jesus. What is it? Was the best thing I've ever done. This, if this shoe wasn't strapped to my foot. My favorite part of that song though is. Go ahead. In his arms, I feel protected. <laughs> In his arms, never disconnected. In his arms, I feel protected. There's no place I'd rest. Rather be. Yeah. It's the choices for me. You better. <laughs> you were in church often as a kid. <laughs> I'm assuming. That was my address, basically. <laughs> like, literally, if you wanted to send me mail or find me, yeah, yeah I was there. You was up in Doing there. something. Playing you... drums, playing keys, playing. How many instruments do you play? 11. <laughs> Did you say 11? Yeah. Like one next to the other one? Mm hmm. More than 10. More than 10, yeah. Would you like to tell me what those are? Sure. Uh, I play piano. Uh, I play organ. Uh, I play acoustic. I play electric. I play bass. Drums is my first instrument. I play clarinet. I play flute. Oh, I play percussion, like bongos, all of that stuff. Uh, 10 is my voice. 
And then I'm a really good Pro Tools engineer. I, I definitely see Pro Tools as an instrument. It is, so. really. Yeah. Um, I probably missed one. Somebody will tell me what I missed. Me. You playing Oboe. me right now. Obo or something like that. Yeah, the woodwinds is kind of my bag. When you can play 11 instruments, I'm sure you can walk into a studio with Beyonce, Giselle Knowles, Carl, yeah, and be the only producer on it other than her. Yeah, I play on Be Alive. I play guitars, yeah. bass, yeah. and drums. You didn't just stop at Be Alive <laughs> and Yo, be an Oscar. You really set this up so nice. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. That's what I do, okay? Yeah. Dixon kept the train rolling. Yeah. Because then you hopped on Renaissance. Yeah. Really, and got my Grammy. favorite, my favorite, <laughs> the, the Grammy, you know. The, One, light work. actually. It's my, uh, yeah. Talk about it. Now, what were the songs that you were contributing on? I worked on Virgo's Groove. Ah. Uh, and Pure Honey. And Pure Honey. Mmm. Cherry uh, is the word. Yeah. I love that word. I bet you you do. I feel like... You know it's the right time, touch me right, yours tonight, before you go on another round tonight. I could eat it all day, cherry sorbet. Uh -huh. yeah. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry Sorbet features Seven Streeter, friend the of the show. Shout out to Seven. The GOAT. She's the GOAT. Now, now I done told y'all his ass is romantic as hell. Yeah. But you also nasty, and oh. I love that song. That's a good, nasty song. I immediately understood what yeah. Cherry Sorbet was, yeah. and I knew that I haven't had Cherry Sorbet in a long time. Wow. I've been... I've had lemon meringue pie, but not cherry sorbet. <laughs> it's been a while, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Not lemon meringue pie? Yo. Yo. I've never heard that one. Yo. <laughs> We're about to play a little old game I like to call, I Know You Buying. <laughs> y'all, there's a lot of shot glasses right here. I just want y'all to know. This is a setup. Now, there are some categories here. Okay. And uh, what's gonna happen is one of us is gonna pull a card. Okay? It's gonna have a category on it. Okay. And immediately, whoever pulls the card has to say, I can name one thing in this category. Okay? Okay. okay. The next person has to say, I can name two. And if you can name three, you say that. And so on and so forth. Until, Until you believe that the person who says that number is fing lying. Oh man, it's like spades. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. It's a little bit of bluffing yeah, going on. Yeah, you gotta on, know. Okay. okay. So right. you have to keep going until you call somebody's bluff. When the bluff is called, that person has <laughs> to immediately start naming all the things they said they can name in that category within 30 seconds. Oh my God, so we don't name them first. No. Oh, you gotta this is hold good. it until the bluff is called. Now, oh, if man. the person can indeed name that many things, you're safe. The person who called the bluff has to take the shot. Wow. Okay? But if you did indeed bluff, you taking the shot. Oh, damn. Okay? All right. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the honors so we can get warmed up, okay? Okay. The first card here. Cartoon characters. I can name one cartoon character. I can name two. I can name three. I can name four. I can name five cartoon characters. I can name six. In 30 seconds? Mm-hmm. I can name seven. I can name eight. <laughs> I know you're fucking lying. 30 seconds. Ready? Ready? Go. Go. Mickey, Minnie, Daffy, Taz, Penny Proud, Tweety Bird, uh, Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny. You want me to keep going? Because that's eight. You want me to keep going? <laughs> shot, 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 shot. SpongeBob SquarePants, Patrick Star. That's 10. You want me to keep going? Oh, if, I, if I get to 15, you got to take two shots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn! T didn't play it this well. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you already lost. I called his bluff, and I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Mm. Man. Damn it. Terrell going to be drunk after this. National holidays. OK. I you, can name one. I can name two. I can name three. I can name four. <laughs> I can name I can name four too. You can't say that. You gotta say five. <laughs> or 
You know what? I know you fucking lying. You can't four? do it for. Ready? Yes. Go. 30 seconds. Christmas. Thanksgiving. Easter. Is Easter a national holiday? Nope. Oh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, um, President's Day, yes. Flag Day. Flag Day is not Earth national. Day. Earth Day. Independence yeah, Day. Okay, Wednesday. Got it. I got it. Yes, you did. God damn it. How many holidays are national? What are they, regional? What's a regional holiday? I mean, you got Memorial Day, Independence oh. Day. Well, you got Drink It Up Dr. Shot King. Day. That hey, Dr. King, he got a drink. This nigga said Earth Day. <laughs> <laughs> what? I really do. Oh, Juneteenth! He has so many yeah, outlets. It's new, but that's new. It's still national. Yeah, that is new. It's still I know, national. It's Juneteenth just... is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. Ah! <laughs> Languages. Oh, God. I can name one language for sure. I can name two. I got three in me. Four. I got five. Six. You got how many you say? Six. I can do seven. I can do eight. I can name nine languages in three seconds. I can name ten. <clears throat> I can name eleven languages. Terrell, you can't name, <laughs> you can't name five of them. <laughs> Are you calling my bluff right now? I'm calling your bluff. <laughs> no, I know. You ready? I'm trying not. No. To, I'm, I'm trying not to embarrass him. I don't I want. I can't do it. I don't want to slap the table down and be like, I know you fucking lying, but you are. English, Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Luxembourgish. Nope. That's the one. Luxembourgish they, one. They speak French. Yeah. In Luxembourg, I should know because no, I lived in speak France. French, German, and Luxembourg. Luxembourg is okay. I no, give my seconds back. You give them five seconds Korea. back. Russian, um, Jamaican, Creole. There's a shot for you though, my brother. All right, all you linguistic mother. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was in my head looking at my Bible app. In my head, like all the languages. Yeah. That... <laughs> I hate everybody in this room. <laughs> Yo, Terrell said. What did I say? Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> under. Um. Ooh, under. Mm -hmm. Um. It's a Mariah Carey record. Uh, underneath the stars. I love that oh. song. Uh, one summer night. We ran away for a while. Look there, up underneath the stars. Do you know why birds sing before the dawn? Mm -hmm. oh, no. To thank the Lord that they made it until morn. Oh, you got me singing all night long. To think that we have only just begun. I'm so in love with you. You take me up higher. No other love like you. Can't tell no lie. You know why I'm just a dreamer. Looking for sweeter. And I know life ain't always peaches and cream. Oh, but you know what I need. Oh, I need a believer. Part of the theme of this season is um, getting out of our minds. Mm. Sometimes our minds can create more negativity than the things that are outside of our minds. Mm. Um, and trying to figure out how to move forward, even when it seems like there's no path forward. Yeah. Have you had any moments like that in your career, personal life, anything? Yeah, man. I think um, a lot of times with success comes... Um, doubt. Mm. Like, I feel like they're coupled. I feel like they kind of exist in the same space. Mm -hmm. And um, you doubt whether you can do it again or you doubt whether you can, like, yeah. top yourself. Uh, and, yeah, I'm just kind of, like, searching for um, those moments that, uh, that remind me why I got in it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. like, um, and, yeah, I, I'm learning that I can use that doubt as fuel. Yeah. You know, um, you know, they used to tell us in church, like, 
you know, use your faith and starve your doubts to death. Like that was a whole. That mm, was I've like heard that one. Yeah, that was the end of uh, Bishop G. Patterson's like whole thing. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't really hit me until like success came. You mm. know what I'm saying? And it was like, man, can I do it again? Can I? And and success like at the highest level, obviously, like we we been able to accomplish some really big things. Like oh, you yeah. too. Um, for me, I've just been trying to use that doubt as as fuel. Um, from me to you, let me tell you, you're gonna do, <laughs> you're gonna top yourself I received, three times over. I received that. Three times. You thought the things that God has given you have been the peak, and you're really just still climbing that mountain. Oh yeah. No, and I feel it now. I feel. Yeah. I feel <laughs> I feel the tiredness from climbing yeah. that mountain. So it lets me know that I'm the tiredness lets me know that I'm still progressing. Yeah. It don't forward. stop, nah. Dixon. It really it can't doesn't stop. stop. My pop, my father yeah. used to tell me all the time, like you can't leave this earth until you accomplish the things that you've been assigned yeah. to do. Yes. Um, and my father used to always ask me the question, like, you can either decide to do it now mm -hmm. or you can wait until you're too old or too mm -hmm. Because you have to do it yeah. before you leave this earth. Yeah. And you just have to decide what, what you want for your right now. Yeah. And for me, I'm just trying to keep climbing up that, That's so that good. mountain, man. The beautiful thing about um, artists who really have a passion about their craft is that they will, they will do it even if it seems impossible. Oh, my God. You, there is nothing that's going to stop you from continuing to create. Yeah. They can take a lot of things from you, but what they cannot take from you is what you have inside. Yeah. Your heart, your mind, your 11 instrument playing <laughs> ass, that will follow you for the rest of your life. Man, I sure hope so. Bro. So what you have to do is keep your head down and do what you are ordained to do. Yeah. No matter what happens, no matter the, the things that happen on the outside that try to come in and impede your journey. Y'all didn't tell me I was about to get a, a prophetic. Uh, this is what we do here. <laughs> Yeah. Because I like I what, what did I say before we even started filming this? I said I'm so proud of you. Yeah, man, and I, and I, I truly I, am. I appreciate that, bro. Because you have accomplished some things <sighs> that many people are scratching and dying to get to. Yeah, that's an incredible blessing. Shit, I'm accomplishing things that I scratched yes! and died, you exactly. know, to get to. Yeah, and and the the crazy part of it all is that he's not done with you yet. Wow. As long as you keep doing what you're doing and keep, you know, being the amazing, creative, and, and brilliant mind that you are, you're gonna you're gonna shock yourself. Yeah. Because the, wow. th the ideas you have in your head are nothing compared to what he has for you. Yo, get this man right? Terrell everything that he deserves. Wow. We gotta go. <laughs> wow. We gotta go. Yo, thank you, Dixon, bro. Literally, I man. Absolutely love this you. This was so fun, bro. I am glad. I yeah. had a time, okay? Woo. I had a time. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Dixon, and I'm on the Terrell Show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever do this show, don't do the drinking game with Terrell. All right, peace. <laughs> <laughs> Cause your ass